Hey guys, it's Sadie here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a black smoky eye for Valentine's Day and I know I've been gone for a really long time and I'm so sorry about that but hopefully I'll be able to put an update video up for you guys so you all know what has been going on these past couple months when I have been gone and haven't been uploading any videos. But instead of hearing me talk about that, let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. So the first thing that I'm doing is prepping the eyelids. So I'm concealing and I'm priming them. I'm using my NARS concealer and this Lorac primer that I got with the Lorac Pro Palette. And I'm just blending that all over my lids. And since today's look is a more sharp, dramatic look, I'm putting tape on the edges of my eye to kind of give a guideline for the eyeshadow and also for the winged eyeliner. Now as usual, I'm starting out with the taupe shadow from Lorac Pro Palette and I'm applying that in the crease with a big fluffy brush and this is our transition shade. This just gives a nice base for all the darker colors that we're applying right now and I'm using Sable for the outer corner and also up into the crease. Since we're applying the darkest color which is black on the lids and everything, I want a nice gradient up to the brow bone. So as you can see now, I'm applying Espresso to the very outer corner, and I'm just applying that up against the tape, and the tape is there for a reason. Use it as your guideline. You can go over it, it's going to be messy, but you just peel it off and it's not going to be there anymore anyway. To blend out the edges even further, I'm taking a cream shadow and just buffing that along the edges to make sure there are no harsh lines. And then we're going to get started with the black shadow. So I have this Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette and I'm taking the blackish gold color in there and just applying that all over the lids. And boy, I did not know what this would look like at all. As I was doing this, I was like, I'm crazy. What am I doing with black eyeshadow all over my lids? I look like a raccoon. But it turned out really well. So I just apply that all over my lids and it looks a little flat so I added some gold shadow to the center and the inner corner of my lid just to give some dimension. Now to line the eyes, I'm using my e.l.f. cream gel eyeliner and a angled eyeliner brush and I'm just going to do the normal wing and a thin line across the lash line. And now I'm curling my eyelashes as usual and today I'm using my normal mascara which is the L'Oreal um, Butterfly Extensions I think or it's something like that I'll leave it down below but I use that for my top lashes and then I use an ultra lengthening mascara for my bottom lashes and guys I actually used lip products for this video I'm using the papaya Revlon lip butter and also an NYC gloss again all the products that I use that I did not mention will be listed down below so check down there if you guys are curious and yeah, I already did my face in this video as well. There will be a foundation routine and an everyday makeup routine coming up soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to make more videos for you guys in the future. I have been waiting so long to get this SD card for my camera to make it work and everything and I'm so excited to be back. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I also hope that you all have a wonderful and blessed week and a wonderful Valentine's Day. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!